good morning it feels like so long since i last vlogged in fact it has been it's been well over a week since i last saw you in all honesty there's not been a lot going on so very little updates on the ground to give you i've just had extreme post hen bachelorette party blues thank you all so much for the love on that last video by the way if you haven't seen it, it's probably my favorite video that i will have ever uploaded and it's the cross collaboration that everyone needed in their life i had too much fun and yeah it was the best and now i'm sad my friends have all gone home i never want them to leave if i could afford it i would just buy a giant house and we would all live together and I think I'm probably the only one that would want that. I just love my friends. I hate them leaving. I was one of those kids that always cried when their friends left sleepovers, you know? Anyway, she's done a liner today. Who am I? I feel like I haven't done a liner in so long, but these liners are so fun to use that I just kind of kept on going. This is the L'Oreal Perfect Slim Super Liner. I think I have used this before in the past and I like it more now. I don't know if they've changed it, but I feel like it's more liquidy and more pigmented i'm just obsessed with that i have it in the black and then the brown is around here so not, oh yes the brown i put the brown on first yesterday i did just full brown and i did less i did more of a like corner wing and i really loved that today i started doing that and then i just ended up with a full wing um so apparently it's 2013 again hopefully i'm slightly better at the liner now than i was i've been doing a little sunset blush uh you can let me know what you think you can let me know if you hate it because i'm not I'm not 100% sure, but it's fun to try new things. Um, so I'm using the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Cheek Tints. These are not available in the UK yet. Alana hooked me up. And then I go in with a tiny bit of Peach Pop by Charlotte Tilbury on the cheeks and just a little bit on the nose. And I blend from the Peach Pop down into that light pink. I feel like it just gives it a nice blend. I don't know. It also just looks really fun when you're mid-application let's ignore my curtain rails in the background which are still there after so long because ryan has still not put up the curtains in my dressing room maybe we can nag him about that this weekend we're going to be spending the weekend together by the way i feel like we haven't spent a chilled weekend at home together in a while and although i am feeling a little bit flat this weekend i am due on tomorrow and i just kind of want to hibernate and not speak to anyone we're pushing through and have a nice weekend We've got a little date night celebratory situation tomorrow it was our anniversary last weekend so we are doing a hybrid anniversary celebration and then also just celebrating like some work things just a personal nice little couples celebration we like to do this when we have moments this morning we've actually decided we're just going to go for a little wander a little stroll get some coffee there's a new coffee shop that does matcha that i really want to try it looks so cute and by the look of the instagram they have a resident dog as well so what could be better do you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna just do a little bit of a matte blush situation i think powder the area very lightly do my t-zone whilst i'm here uh, and then i'm gonna take some vive what is this pesca blush this is gorgeous. And just pop that on the tops of my cheeks. I love this kind of peachy toned blush at the moment. It's, it's giving summer. And then we're going to take some Too Faced Cloud Crush in the shade. No idea what shade this is. Candy Cloud? Maybe? And then... Oh, these smell so good. If you ever had those little bears, if you were from the UK, because I don't know if they do them anywhere else, if you ever had those little bears that you used to feed them with a bottle in the 90s and the 2000s, it smells like the vanilla bear and just does really good things for the serotonin in my brain whenever I smell this. Okay, that might be too much, I don't know. I feel like a cartoon character whenever I do liner in the waterline. Whilst we are out today, we're also going to test my new camera. Oh my god, my hair is a mess. I have a new camera and that, my friends, is because TikTok has sold out the camera that I am currently vlogging on. And the thing that stresses me about that is these cameras are very delicate and they get... Sorry, my piercings always get caught on my hair. Ah. These cameras are very delicate. Like, I actually wouldn't recommend them. We use them in the industry because they are 
the easiest cameras for vloggers like they have sorry let's just adjust the lighting you can adjust the lighting the colors you don't have to color correct whereas like other vlogging cameras like the one Vic uses it doesn't have the colors the stabilization is different these cameras are amazing vlogging cameras the downside is they are quite expensive for what they are and they're very very delicate like you drop it and the focus is gonna go but the focus is incredible and when you get it fresh out of the box like it's so good and that's only really necessary for vloggers uh, but people are buying these cameras in droves at the moment because influencers are recommending them on tiktok as a flash photography camera which they are really good but so are so many other canon digital cameras like it's not necessary to have this one and people are actually i think paying too much for the fact that you can buy loads of other canon cameras and they will give you the exact same effect but anyway that's by the by it's up to people how they want to spend the money but this camera is now sold out everywhere which when you use it every day for your work and they go through a lot, like they are used every day, they are thrown into bags, like bashed about a lot because you can't put them in a case, you know? You can't put them in a case because you've got to imagine like you're in the moment and you're like, oh my God, I need to vlog this moment before it goes and you're fanning about trying to get it out of a case. Bad enough trying to get it out of your bag when you need to like vlog quick. Like most of the time we walk around with these in our hands and it's not because they don't fit in the bags it's because you can't miss a moment if there is a good moment i am concerned for my g7x um i did drop it a couple of times on the hen so with that in mind my friends i bought this camera which is a teeny tiny little camera <laughs> it's so small and this is going to be hopefully my new out of the house camera so it's got a little button on the back. Ooh, hello. It's got a little button on the front for quick, easy access. And it's so cute. So I'm gonna test this today. I don't know, it might not be good, I don't know, but it's better than taking an iPhone out because I've just decided I can't keep taking this camera out of the house because if I drop it in here, I drop it on carpet, stunning, but I dropped it on some hard, hard concrete when we were in Ibiza and I'm now like, do you know what? We just can't risk it whilst there is low stock. We can't risk it but anyway that's a really long chat that you didn't need on why i've got a new camera but just for any other influencers watching that are maybe a bit like concerned for the health of their g7x and what they're going to do without it um i'm testing that and we'll see how it works you can let me know what you think it's never going to be the same as this camera like the quality i don't think is ever going to be as good because it is smaller it's just a very different camera but i'm hoping it will be better than an iphone i know it will be i've watched the reviews i've watched so many reviews but anyway i need to pick a little fragrance i think i'm going to go for this one today by charlotte tilbury this is more sex i have all of them now like i literally got all of them delivered the other day also welcome to the chaos of my dresser in the wardrobe room oh, i might go for this one i really like this it's giving tom ford i think this one's more of a date night scent and the purple one is like a bougie gal scent we're going bougie gal today oh my god that's so nice wow they also come in minis oh good morning what are you doing here oh sweet gal my sweet gal she had her birthday recently she is now a whole 10 years old you're a whole 10 a whole 10 god we've been through a lot in 10 years haven't we mate i am ready let's ignore the fact that i <laughs> just look like such a boy today if you're wondering what i look like when you're not around it's normally this especially this time of the month when i'm really bloated like i do not want to be i know i normally love like a tight fit but it is like a low rise jean and a t-shirt all the way right now. So yeah, this is my OOTD. It's very cute though. Um, so my trainers are from Nike and then my jeans are Urban Outfitters. These are the ones from my spring, spring summer haul. Um, old Anina Bing t-shirt. I don't know if they still do this, but I hope so because it's such a cute tee. And then my sunnies are from Celine and then my bag is from Dior and I was tempted to go for, and this is a spoiler for what's coming up in this vlog, but I was tempted to go for this, which I do think is very fun. And now I'm torn. I just think, I don't know, I think the Dior is like a little bit more, like, I don't know. I really like the side profile of this outfit. So yeah, that's what we're going with today. I'm very nervously switching you over to the new camera. Let's go. We, we've had an accident this morning. <laughs> where's, where's the hair gone? 
disappeared. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. You don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Dude, should we address the fact that this was not a purposeful choice? Yeah, I think. I don't think it's that much different though. It's still a bit of stubble. I feel like the girlies will notice. Like there, are, you've got a big fan club for your hair, and I'm sure that's not just. Oh, really? Yeah. Big, big fan club. Um, basically, Ryan got a new shaver, and the cap on it was not the same as the cap on its old, his old one, and so ended up a lot shorter than he wanted to be. You would have thought, though, if they, they're graded in, yeah. into numbers, oh, one hundred percent, that they would, you know, have the same measurements. That you wouldn't get two different rulers. No, one hundred percent. I fully agree with you. Yeah. It's not. It wasn't dumb. I don't think. Anyway. Don't. I probably should have patch tested it, maybe, but not on my face. Yeah, but how do you? Yeah, I guess. But my then, arm also how would you compare? Like, I don't know. Anyway, Ryan is without beard for a little bit. Um, but yeah, we just, I just, if for any of the girlies that are big fans of Ryan's hair, I need you to know, we do not need to fret. It will be back very soon, very very soon at the rate your hair grows. Yeah, it grows faster than mine does, and that's really saying something. Like, I literally did my moustache a week ago, and I already need to do it again. So, pray for our children. Yeah, it's gonna come out balls of hair. Like, lit literally, they will be cousin it. It's gonna look like shrimpy. They'll, yeah, they'll look, they'll look like shrimpy. Bless them. Maybe we should start a trust fund for laser. <laughs> just, just for laser alone. Um, yeah, we're on our way into Brighton. I'm gonna just have a little gentle mooch. Do you think, by the way, we should look at wedding rings? Ooh. Yeah, maybe to okay. browse. Maybe we should, because I feel like we need to, we really need to get on the wedding planning. We've, yeah, probably. We've not done a lot. I think every Sunday morning from now on, I'm just gonna stick the laptop under your nose very quickly whilst we have a coffee and just every single week take a small task off. I'm happy to do that. Yeah. It sounds as if you, you're forcing me into it. No, I just mean like I'm just going to make a point of I'm going to be disciplined with myself because I'm, it's me, hi, I am the problem. It's me, you know. Well, we can both just encourage Yeah. wedding plans. Exactly. So we could do it. We could tick off a wedding planning activity right now and then feel very productive this weekend. You know, like, buy the rings. No, just like <laughs> we could just brow out. Like I don't know. Big decision. <laughs> We're not decision makers. This would be a big decision for us. You know. Yeah. 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 yeah I'm not for it. Yeah. Brows. It's going to be a big decision for me, you guys. Like uh, sticking to one ring for the rest of my life. I'm not, sure it's, I'm not sure that's possible, if I'm honest. I'm scared, this is why my mum's had like six engagement rings. I finally understand her on a new level. Can you see that sign on the window? What does it say? Oat based soft serve. Oh <gasps> no! Oh my god. Do we? They do it, they do a soft serve with matcha. I am gonna have to try it, aren't I? Is the blueberry still available? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. The blueberry matcha. So, so good. Yeah, that's really nice. I love the fact it's got like a real blueberry at the bottom. Thank you. You've got the orange expression. Yeah. Take it away. An orange espresso. Like, Sounds like a UTI nightmare. I don't get them, so it's all good. Well, maybe I will after that. Cheers. Um, what about this giant one here? Uh, <laughs> yeah, 
I'm not sure about that. No? Okay, moving on. Oh, I really like something like this as like an alternative, like sits completely on its own. Guys, we have some winners. I might need to go try some things on. I think I might have found some potential wedding bands. TBC, can't decide whether I'm gonna have a whole separate wedding band that's like big, spoilers, or I don't know, maybe a thicker wedding band to sit under my engagement ring. TBC. And my reasoning for this is I would love an alternative that I can like wear during the winter because this is terrible in the winter. The light has gone so weird. What is happening? I feel like my camera is really smudgy. Are we okay? I don't know. Yeah, I would love like a giant kind of or thicker situation that I wear instead of my engagement ring and band for like the winter, for if I don't want to like have, like I find this quite fiddly, which is kind of nice when you've got anxiety, you can just like play with it. But when you're wearing knitwear, this ring is the worst. So TBC, we might end up with a slightly unusual situation, but yeah, I found some rings that are so nice. So I think we're gonna go back next weekend. lie down and nap however I need to get changed because we have got some filming to do I've got some very fun things to film I'm gonna do a little kind of I think like date night outfit inspo but with a very important addition to it which I will unbox with you in a second let's just get into this this dress me changing on camera does not work which is very exciting because oh, do we think this is okay I'm so bloaty at the moment like I don't want to wear any of my clothes which is very exciting because it is going to contain my jewelry edit but like we need some angels chiming like that kind of sound right now that kind of like ah that kind of moment this has probably been my worst kept secret like you have seen a lot of the collection already and you probably know that you're seeing it because I just suddenly am like glazing over all of my jewelry that I'm wearing and not talking about it nothing gets past you so many of you have dm'd me like june 3rd is in my calendar and i'm like yes love you thank you so i have my own jewelry edit i have it right here this is the full collection all packaged up so that you guys can see like the packaging and how it will actually come to you because i have the samples i have i have everything but it's not in its like packaging as it would be if you bought it obviously Dear Susie, we are so excited to be working with you on this edit with love, Team Aurelia. Aurelia is a brand that I have loved for so long. I have so many of their pieces archived in my collection. Like you have seen the sparkly bow earrings, they come out year after year. Every time I need a sparkly statement earring, they come out. I have so much of their jewelry. I've been wearing it forever. They're also a brand that is local to me and I love that. It's been a brand that I have known and loved for a very long time and I'm really excited. I have my edit with them and this is a mixture of everything that I love right now so it's giving summer but it's also giving bridal it is everything that you could need so whether you're a bride or you just love the summery vibes this is the girl that can do everything for you how adorable is this packaging so nice. I feel bad unboxing it So everything will be linked in the info box below for you guys. You are finally learning where the T-Bar necklace of dreams is from. This is in my edit. The earrings that I'm wearing right now are in my edit. This chunky ring that I've been wearing for so long, also in the edit. Everything that you have seen me mentioning and not talking about is in this edit. I'm gonna whiz you through this so quickly because we could be here all day, but three of the pieces are from the Aurelia Lux collection. You can sleep in them, you can shower in them. They are like never take off items. And I have to say, I do really love that about the T-Bar necklace in particular. Like I love that I could be wearing it by the pool and I have done and I can just jump in the pool and not worry about it. We also have the T-Bar bracelet, which is stunning. Love this bracelet so much. Oh, my other bracelet is also from my edit. Beautiful. And this is also part of the Aurelia Luxe collection as well. The bracelet 
so stunning. I put this in a lot of the gift boxes on the hen. So you're finally getting to see everything that was given to everyone. I picked pieces based on exactly what I knew everyone likes. So I have some friends that don't wear like necklaces and rings and things like that. Weirdly both of my best friends from school they don't wear any form of like necklaces, rings, earrings. Like Lauren got these hoops because she's just started wearing a gold hoop and I was like I'm gonna give her something funky but then I'm also gonna give her the bracelet because she's way more of a bracelet girl than anything else. My other friend Nay, she got both bracelets because I know she just loves a bracelet. There are a lot of statement earrings in this collection as well and each of the girls got like a different statement earring. Based on how much they love a statement piece it got more exaggerated. So some of the girls that love more timeless stuff got more like simple pieces and the girls that love out there statement things like me they got more of those pieces. I actually feel like I need to sit down with you and unbox all of this because there's so much there we go so obviously in addition to the bracelet we also have the gorgeous t-bar necklace which is part of the aurelia luxe collection i am obsessed with this necklace this necklace is the dark horse of the collection for me we were looking at the collection i was like this collection is so statement and so amazing but i need some more like everyday pieces and that just seemed like the perfect like everyday necklace i was like yep yeah, beautiful love that and i took so much of this collection away with me to marbella to like get a feel for it make sure i liked like the styling i wore this necklace non-stop and i was like this may actually be my favorite piece from the collection and i really there are some other statement things that i really my heart really goes out to and i gravitate towards but this i was like this is the best necklace I've ever owned and I've never found a chain necklace that I've gravitated towards in this way before like I love a chain necklace and I really want to like them but a lot of them have just like never they've never been my everyday staple go-to and this I was like this is not any chain necklace this is the perfect the actual perfect chain necklace I just didn't think it was going to be like that piece that I would just never take off like I just I've slept in it so many times next up in the collection we have this is not in any order I feel like maybe this should have been in like some kind of order we have these gorgeous shell hoops these are stunning they stack so well like they're so they're the perfect size for like stacking if you've got multiple piercings like me these are beautiful oh actually do you know what I found both of the other sets that go really well with those shell hoops so number one we have these tiny little gold huggies these are beautiful these are really tiny weeny little huggies and they, they stack so perfectly with so many of the other earrings in this collection i could literally sleep in them they're so comfortable i have a couple of pairs of these and i'll just like stack them and they're so good if you've got loads of piercings they're a great one to have and then we also have this other set if you've got loads of piercings which is like a three stack and they've got these wavy hoops as part of the stack and they're so cool and the little studs are so nice as well so i love mixing them in with other things we also have these that can be paired with the shell hoops which i personally really like i don't know if it's too much for some people but i really love these little shell drop hoops with the shell the bigger shell hoops but you could also wear those drop shell hoops with these which are the starfish drop earrings i am obsessed with these i love them so much there are so many different combos that you can do keep an eye on here and on my instagram over the next couple of weeks just so i can show you like how i'm wearing everything because you'll see lots of different earring combos but all of the smaller earrings they work so well together so there's so many different combinations you can go for from here though it gets a little bit more uh statement in terms of the earrings so we have these hoops which are leaning a bit more bridal they're gorgeous pearly earrings with a blue drop. I love the blue of these. It's so, so beautiful. These are just really lovely on their own. I really like them as just like a standalone earring. They're so beautiful. They give like that little bridal edge, but without being too much. But they're also like, even if you're not a bride, they're still beautiful and summery as well and like perfect for holidays. And they work nicely with a few of the other necklaces in the collection as well, which you will see. Then of course we have the hoops obsessed i just love these i wear these so much they work really really well with the t-bar necklace in my opinion especially if you're more of like a jeans and a t-shirt girl as i was wearing earlier like these two are perfect that's like these, those are the perfect pieces in the collection for that kind of aesthetic and i wear them literally all the time i just think these are the perfect everyday 
fun fun earring but without being too statement they just work with everything they go with every outfit like they go with something more like slinky and sophisticated like the dress that i'm wearing right now this is just a silk strapless dress it's beautiful but equally looks just really cool with like hoodie jeans and trainers that kind of thing it's, these are the gift that keeps on giving next is a pair of earrings that make me so happy these are so stunning they're like a battered gold effect like the textured sunshine oh they just make me so so happy to look at and they're so cool and so statement and these work really well for me in the evening if i'm wearing a high neck dress these are like my go-to earrings i'm so obsessed with them and they are summery but without feeling too summery like they don't necessarily feel beachy so if i'm say going out in like london and i'm wearing like a high neck long sleeve mini dress to dinner you can see in the campaign photos like i wore a cream high neck long sleeve dress these work really perfectly with that kind of outfit next up we have the shell dropped earrings i love these so lots of you will know i have a version of this from earlier in the year that is hearts and i wear them so much i adore them these are my summer equivalent they're so stunning and i actually really like to combine these with one of the necklaces that is coming up but they don't like matchy matchy but i quite like that so yeah those are a big big favorite of mine i mean they all are i actually it's like trying to pick a favorite child someone asked me the other day they were like which is your favorite and i was like how am i meant to choose and then we have the necklace in question which is this beautiful starfish necklace love obsessed but obviously there is the set of starfish earrings as well if you wanted to fully matchy matchy which i do really like as well and then of course we have the blue bracelet so stunning and then the hero item our favorite of the collection is this amazing shell necklace on a whole string of pearls this is incredible i love it so much this would look amazing with my third wedding dress so my second change on like my main wedding day and this also is just amazing for like summery occasions all round i love this with my house of cb like vintage cream colored dress i think it's so beautiful but it also equally looks really nice with something that's a little bit more simple like this this would also look beautiful with like a white tank in the summer and then a pair of like linen trousers you could really add this as the statement piece to a very simple outfit during the summer and i think that would be amazing as well it's so beautiful i'm so I'm, i love it so much this was originally the necklace from the collection that i was like this is this is it for me this is everything and then lo and behold the antithesis is like the one that i wear every single day but this is like your special statement piece this is your everyday this is your statement this is another necklace that we have in the collection it is so beautiful it's this gorgeous little drop pearl on a chain it looks really beautiful with the starfish necklace let me see if i can i really need to like actually crack on and not be doing this but <laughs> here we are styling it all up these are so beautiful and so summery and um, i also want to show you these these are so special i love these these make my heart so happy i just love a chunky statement piece of jewelry and these give me vintage vibes like a lot of this collection gives me vintage vibes but without having to have the one unique piece element to vintage which can be so annoying when you're trying to share and edit with mass amounts of people um i think they give the perfect like vintage vibe but without being vintage there's so many earring favorites for me in this collection this is a big statement earring edit basically then we also have this gorgeous little earring set which are the shells and then they drop down into a pearl these are so beautiful perfect for summer perfect for bride i love these they're so nice i love oh, yeah anyway we we all know like i love everything in this collection it's obvious that's what that's that's literally the point of an edit i need to get on and film these outfits but whilst i'm sat with you i thought i would quickly show you my anthropology order because i'm just scared i'm gonna forget to do it tomorrow morning so as we saw this morning i'm obsessed with this bag it's so cute they do these little bottega style bags and i love them so much they come in so many colors and i have been obsessing over the green i think this is just going to be the perfect summer bag like it will look so nice with like jeans and a t-shirt but also equally like even this dress that i'm wearing right now this would look so cool so i just think that's a really nice collection addition collection addition to my collection i really like anthropology bags at the moment like they do great bags and some great dupes as well like there's the styled bags that are like the beautiful beaded bags is one i really have my eye on and anthropology had a version of it that had like evil eyes all over it but it was like so stunning 
if I can find a photo, I will insert a photo. It was so stunning and I missed the mark. I didn't click purchase immediately and you have to be so quick on anthropology. I don't like that setup. I want a pre-order. I want a, I'll wait a month, but like, please make it so that I can purchase this item kind of situation. Anyway, I got this t-shirt and I think it's so cute. So it's got like lemons over the boobs and it's actually got this really nice little bit of embroidery on the back. I really like that. Um, yeah, and I thought my green bag would look very nice with this. Um, and then just like my Urban Outfitters jeans. This next item is a bit broke. Is this little shirt, it's like a knitted shirt and it's got these oranges all over it. It looks really fun, but now I'm not sure. So we will try this on. I'll, ins I'll insert a cutaway because honestly, this video is gonna be really long. Who has the time? Let me know what you think. I might send it back. I don't, I love it. I think it's so cool, but maybe it's not right for me. Like I think my friend Kate would look incredible in it then i got this top and this top i know i'm gonna like i think as long as it's flattering i'm gonna like this i thought this with just a pair of jeans nice little kind of corset sweet little top it's got adjustable straps so hopefully it's gonna be flattering it's got like boning to the front as well which we love and then finally i picked up these really adorable those little things from the 90s where you like you know you could put your hair into a bun and then twirl these into your hair some people may have some ptsd from these but i was like do you know what with a bun this would be so cool i think i'm gonna wear this t-shirt tomorrow so you'll get a full 360 view of of this tomorrow oh, hello I thought I'd show you my little outfit of the day that I wore today. I've actually taken my shoes off already. I'm wearing the t-shirt that I showed you guys yesterday from Anthropology. I really like this. It's not too long, which I kind of like, so it just like tucks well and then it doesn't fall too low on me. I think it's like quite a good length um, for someone who's a shorter gal. And then I've got the green bag as well, which I popped a hair clip on. Um, this is one of the ones from Amazon and then I also went for my Mew Mew Sunnies. The stitching on this is actually like a green um, so it matches the bag well as well. I'm also wearing my wavy hoop earrings from my Aurelia edit. I've got the bracelet, the chunky bracelet on as well and then my chunky ring. So I went to pick up my things from being altered this morning so I can show you the other new bits that I got as well which I'm really excited to get wearing. Um, I think a couple of them I'm gonna take on my trip next week so I'll leave those to the next vlog I think. I actually had my Odd Muse dress altered. This dress I have had it taken in and then shortened slightly as well because every time I've worn it I'm like this just needs to be a fraction shorter for me personally and across the chest it just gapes on me. My boobs just don't fill it so I've had it just pinched in um, at the back to hopefully sit a little bit better. I was like even if it's borderline too tight Deborah I will take that so please just like so if you see it looking a little bit too tight I've done that to myself. And then I also had this dress altered this is also from Ob news this has been altered just a fraction i think i might wear this tonight maybe i'm a, i'm a, like the color is the color is bold not as bold as the red but i feel still feel like it's quite bold and i'm like oh i never normally wear a bold color but i had the um button on the back move just ever so slightly so that um around the neck like it just sat a little bit higher and then brought the chest up because I found that it was I wasn't really filling it properly and the length was my my chest length just isn't the average length so things I find at the moment I'm having a lot of things altered like around here and like taken up so I had that done as well oh my god that's gonna be perfect and hoist oh my god it fits perfect oh I'm so happy it's literally been like so loose here and then it's just been slightly too long but I think this is perfect this is like how it looks on everyone else <laughs> I forgot I also had these bits from Ob Muse taken up as well so I have in addition to the dress the skirt and top and I had the skirt taken up and then the top I had the neck strap altered because again it was too gapy I'm gonna try this on I'm really excited yay Oh, so perfect. Just fits really well around the neck now and then gives me like a good lift because it's so flattering as a halter neck that it's a shame 
if it's too loose so yay perfect and then the skirt is like perfect length as well it was just like touching my feet before i love this set i think you'll see me wear this in the next vlog it's just so nice they call this color lime cream i just love it so yeah i'm really happy with that length on the leg now it means i can wear a heel and it looks nice but i could also wear a flat and it equally it still looks good i'm now really tempted to wear this for dinner tonight but i think i'm gonna wear the dress i'll show it to you now so this is the dress that i think i want to wear tonight i don't know what bag i'll wear with this though i don't really feel like i have a bag that isn't like a holiday bag that would go with this maybe apart from is the green too much this is where i've got to it is june now so raffia could be acceptable and i do really like the way this looks with the dress i feel like this collection was just made for vacays raffia bag season it's just the most summery color and it works perfectly with a straw bag i do have the green i now wish i had this in every color including like a white or even a yellow they do it in a lemon yellow and this would have been great right about now i do really like the way the raffia looks and i really like it with the shoes that i'm gonna wear as well maybe the raffia it's really warm today so the weather is giving summer and this is giving Kermit. So I'm thinking maybe this. website is starting to switch over it's earlier than they said it would be and you can see like the photos starting to change so if i hover over this look oh my god it's me <gasps> this is so fun I'm, a bit nervous. I'm gonna leave this vlog here because it's getting really long but i really hope you love it if you get anything let me know let me know what your favorites are whether you buy something or not thank you so much for all your support for watching and i hope you enjoyed this vlog love you bye <laughs>